Welcome back, friends of the point and click community. We are the people with none to limited IT experience. So don't ask us hard questions. We probably not able to answer them. Now here's one thing what happened to me today. I usually store all my videos on an external USB drive and well, I don't pay a lot of attention to it. The drive is full now. No big deal, I just save all the videos to the free NAS where we have a little sandbox on it with all kinds of virtual machines. But then I remembered lately I got some errors from the free NAS, but I ignored it. So this disk array is, we will see. Because of my ignorance, the whole RAID array, all disks failed on that NAS. So we have to come up with a quick solution. Just go online. We order us uh, another USB Western Digital MyBook drive because it worked for the last six, seven years. The one I have in it, it's still working. Please keep in mind, I have another MyBook Western Digital drive what runs flawlessly since six years. I never had any issues with it. But apparently there are some issues with these drives. I was reading up online and I don't know if it's still current, but this drive has a 256-bit encryption, a hardware encryption on it. And even if people didn't install the software, well, we don't install it all because I use this as a network drive. However, these, uh, this hardware encryption, people didn't install the software, didn't set a password, and then the drive enclosure failed. So they thought we take the drive out like on other manufacturer's drives and try to get to our data. And we weren't able to because somehow the drive encrypted the files. So please keep this in mind. I just bought it because the other one was running reliable. And uh, now let's just open it and set it up as a network drive. We use my ASUS router, plug it in my ASUS router, and then we map it as a network drive. And this is, I remind you again, this is not meant for IT people. This is meant for point and click community, people like me, people like us. We don't have a lot of IT experience and we just make stuff go. So here are some instructions. We don't need them because like I mentioned before, we will connect it as a network drive on our ASUS router. And then there is the USB cable. And I guess that's it. Power cable, USB cable and the drive but before we connect this drive to our router we connect it first to our computer and have a look at it and see what's on because usually there's some software on it what we don't need like i said i do not install the western digital software on my machine I open the disk manager and the file explorer so we can have a quick look. Now let's plug in the drive. On the left side you can see this is my old my book and it is full. It is really really on its limits. Just takes a second. Here we go. Drive showed up. It's uh, formatted right out of the box in XFAT. It really doesn't matter at that point because we format it when it's on the router in NTFS anyhow. Now let's have a look what's on the drive. Yeah, there's some Western Digital software on it and naturally the system volume information what was created and recycle bin created by the Windows operating system. This doesn't matter to us because now we connect it to the router and format that drive anyhow.
when we format this drive all the software will be gone but don't be concerned about it you always can download it from the western digital website the link will be in the description below a big thank you to all my subscribers if you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel give this video a like really helps me out i appreciate it very very much thank you now the drive is plugged in the router it's uh, not showing up yet the usb2 you see is an older drive it's another drive i use let's give it a quick reboot and see if the router can find the drive so let's log in Now that we see the drive, we click on it. On the right side, we see these tabs. Here is like health scan. It don't interest us right now. Right now, we are just interested in formatting the drive. And we got to give it a name. I select NTFS from the Dropbox and just click Format. Click OK. Now we select USB application here on the left side, then Server Center, and here Network Places. Now we are expanding the drive, highlight that folder. We given the name to this one when we formatted the drive and we click here on the plus sign to make a new folder what will be our network drive next we have to make sure the user has access rights on the left side you see your users and you can click the plus sign to create one if you need to and I'm going here, expand it. See, I have read, write, access rights for this user. I save it. Okay, so far so good. Now we go back to our Windows File Explorer, click on My PC, and click on Map and Network Drive. Now we select the drive letter, then we put in our network path. Look at the example, it starts always with backward slash, backward slash, and then the IP address of your router, that's the easiest, and the name of that shared folder. If you get an error here, then just try it again, but select connect using different credentials when that connection screen pops up and then enter the information from the user you have on your router what has access to that network share so now let's test real quick if we can write to it okay the file is there can we open it perfect so we have read write access and that's it it's all done Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I really appreciate you being here. If you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a like, hit the notification bell and have a great week.